now though quarter past eight which means it is time uh, to check in then uh, with the Friendship Cafe on Barton Street where some amazing things have been happening and just people kind of coming forward to do some great things uh, so I'm delighted to invite Reyes uh, Lamani and welcome him to the show hi Reyes hi there how you doing hi yeah I'm good thank you how are you yeah, not too bad, thank you. Good, good. I'm trying to remember the last time we, we saw each other. That might have been when yeah, I came on to Fair it's Shares. It's been a while, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how have things been for you over the past few weeks, Riaz? Because I know it's been quite yeah. strange for everyone. So it, it, It's definitely a strange time for everyone. Um, it's been very busy, you know. Mm. I think early on, we kind of, um, at French Craft and Fair Shares, we realised our kind of normal activities, you know, community activities, bringing people together. We had to stop that. Mm. And so we had a kind of like a day or two of like, right, what what do we do? And I think, you know, by calling people and finding out what's going on, we soon realised that <clears throat> the need out there that we could maybe help out with was uh, things like food, you know. Mm. Uh, we were seeing that people are really struggling with, with food, whether that's to do with shopping or cooking or getting it or, or whatever it was. So we thought we'd just see how we can kind of work with that. <clears throat> so I don't know if you've ever been to the French Cafe, we've got a massive hall and it was empty and actually bit by bit we slowly turned that into a bit of a food bank and we've been really lucky to get quite a lot of generous donations from a place like St. Louis local, Morrison's <clears throat> and just loads of like local residents who are just kind of, you know, giving food or money or donations and we've we built up a bit of a food bank and we're working with the Barton COVID group and we've got a street rep in every rep in our, in our, in our area. And they've kind of distributed leaflets to everyone saying, you know, we're here to help sort of thing. So they've identified people who think actually this, this person is, you know, can, can do with a bit of extra help. Mm. And so we're slowly building a list of people who we think, okay, actually, maybe we can, we can do a bit more for them, whether that's giving some food to them. <clears throat> and then we thought, okay, our cafe, we can't open the cafe now. It's empty. So why don't we start making some meals? So again, through a lot of donations of food and financial donations, you know, we've got all the ingredients covered and we've just been making uh, hot meals. And every day at the moment, every working day, we make about 40, 50 meals, maybe some some 60 meals, and just giving out to various people in the community. Mm. <clears throat> and it's it various. We've got older people who are struggling, um, who normally had like support from their families, who who now that support's not there. And so you know we're maybe providing meals. Mm. Um, we're also working with like Haverley School, the support workers there, who are saying to us, actually, look, there's a family here who could who could do a, a bit of extra help. You know the the, the 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 person who's working, they're on zero hour contracts. They're kind of that's no longer there. Yeah, things are a bit tense. So we're we're just we're just kind of ditch, pitching in as and where we can. Yeah, but every day every day is really busy. It's 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 uh, and we've got a lot of you know through fair shows, we've got volunteers across the city who are doing things like yeah, go and get and shopping for people, picking up prescriptions. Yeah, um, and, and that's the thing. referrals as well. Go on, sorry. I, I think you've you've been doing this for years at Fair Shares, haven't you? Know people coming forward and saying, mm. "I've got a bit of time, I can do this, or yeah. I could do yeah, with yeah. a bit of that." So, actually, really well placed in order to point people in the right direction. Yeah, we've been lucky actually because you know this is what exactly what we've been doing for the past twenty years. So all of our infrastructure was there. You know, we've got all of our health and safety policies and computer data, all that kind of stuff. All that background's all there, and we've got the experience of. You know, how do we get people who are very vulnerable, who need a bit of help, and how do we link them up with people who can offer that help? Mm-hmm. Um, and sometimes it's it's really easy and obvious. Here you go, go and go and meet up with this person. But sometimes you've got to be really careful because there are all sorts of different issues involved. And we're lucky that we've got some of that experience to support that process. Yeah. <clears throat> so we'll work quite closely with lots of different groups in Barton to kind of work together. I think I think that's been one of the really good things. You know, there's lots of, you know, we're lucky as an area. There's loads of different groups working really hard, whether that's individual people working hard to people like Helping Hands, you know, Gloucester Helping Hands, and we've got a hash and all right, and loads of different people. Um, so we, we've, we've combined that together really well, actually. And, that's, and, and, you know, like a call will come in to say, so-and-so needs a bit of support. They, they need this. Let's, let's, let's just get something out to the world or us or somebody mm-hmm. else. <clears throat> yeah, and, and the thing is, I suppose, when people start working together, this has been one of the sort of... Po- it's, it's strange to talk about positive things to come out of the, the current mm. situation, but people have come together and done that, and particularly when those people who need help the most might be the most reluctant to come forward, actually, and yeah, say, I, yeah. I need a bit of help. We're seeing this as well, and, and again, <clears throat> it's really important from our point of view that <clears throat> this is not about charity work, one person does to another. This is about community work. How do we as a community support each other we all need a bit of help. We all can do something. So it's about like, well, look, what do I need? But what can I offer? So I've got people who, you know, might need a bit of help in one way, but actually they can give help in another way. And that's the thing. That's how we support each other. So um, 
you know, yeah, pe- people who are then reluctant to o- ask for help, they know that actually, look, I'm, I'm, I'm coming into a system where I might need some help at the moment, but I can also give something back maybe a bit later on or in different ways. I think that's one thing that makes it easier. Yeah. <clears throat> the other thing is then what we're also doing is we're working with different organizations and groups like Gloucester City Homes, for example. You know, they've got <clears throat> tenants all over the place and they'll say, actually, I know this person needs a bit of support. So rather than kind of that person coming in and asking for help, you know, we'll just call them up and say, look, actually, you know, we've got this. Would that be of any use to you? Yeah. Um, and it takes that onus off because actually asking for help is really, really difficult. We know mm. this, for, you know, for all sorts of reasons. Um, <clears throat> yeah. but, it's, it's, but, but being able to accept help in a, in a, in, in a way that actually, you know, I'm, I'm part of the community. And so, you know, being, a, being, being, being supported by the community and being part of that community is really important. And when people have come forward and said, I, I could do it, actually, now you come to mention it with a bit of help with whatever it might be. Is it yeah, yeah. is it food that is the main thing at the moment? Money? What is at it that moment, people... At the moment, it's food, you know, but yeah. that situation is going to change. I'm like, I, I've already had so many people calling up and saying, oh, well, you know, my, my, my lawn's really overgrown. I need to, you know, I need that sorted out. So I, it's like, well, at the moment, we're not going to be able to do that, you know, until, you know, all the lockdown restrictions. But I know that a couple of months' time, we're going to need loads of gardeners out there, you know, m- m- a bit, bit after that. Who knows what those things are? Um, we're yeah. also realising that there are loads of people who are just really isolated and really lonely. So, again, I've been talking to people who <clears throat> might need help in one way at the moment, but they're saying, well, actually, look, I'm stuck at home by myself. Yes, I need a bit of food at this at the moment, but I can give somebody a call if you want. And so I'm linking them with with other people who are lonely and giving them a bit of company that way sort of thing, yeah? yeah. And I know something that you're working on as well, Riaz, which it sounds really exciting in terms of just being a bit positive and maybe looking at stuff. <laughs> Tell me about the photography project because this sounds really exciting. Yeah, so I have a simple idea. I'm just calling it the small things that make you smile because, again, while the situation is all a bit awkward and disturbing and difficult, we actually know that in our day-to-day lives, everyone's got that simple moment or that thing or that person who just makes you smile and makes life, life better. So I'm saying, why not just take a quick picture of that, whatever it is, you know, whether that's your pet, whether that's your child, whether that's your father, you know, there's a flower in the garden, the insect, <clears throat> take a picture, send it to me, and I'm going to print it out, and in our in our wall in the Friendship Cafe, I'm going to print. I'm going to make a massive collage. So you know, I've got about 150 photos already, I think. And I'm just going to, you know, as it, as we go on, because it's going to go for a while, I'm just going to get more and more pictures. We're going to print them out, make a massive collage, and then when all this is over, we can have a big celebration together in the hall in the community centre, and kind of look to see what you know what 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 were important in people's lives, because that's the thing that we're recognising is actually. Um, we're placing importance on different things now, and loads of people are constantly saying, you know, this, this, now that we're home, actually, we're taking more time up for family, and we're taking more time up for some of those things that we've neglected in the past. Um, so let's celebrate all of that. Let's celebrate all the positive things that have come out. This we know that there's loads of negative things, but actually, let's let's talk about some of those positives. Are you still accepting some submissions for that, then, Maria? Yeah, constantly. That, this is an ongoing thing, you know. I'm, I just because it's it's not a one moment. It's like actually every day. It, it, the, there are things so you can't yeah so it's 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 always open until you know until we get i don't know our walls work basically um yeah. so yeah, yeah definitely <clears throat> so you can what? email that to me um my email address is gloucester at fairshares.org.uk gloucester at fairshares.org.uk yeah that's right yeah. brilliant lovely what well, will you check in when whenever that happens <clears throat> and the final exhibition yeah, well, goes up will you let us know yeah yeah, yeah, yeah definitely that'd be yeah. brilliant yeah because yeah, okay. i wanted to be like a big kind of you know, record of what people have gone through and mm. what people have enjoyed out of this so it's like yeah let's just come and come and have a look you know have some openings and you know we'll have some nice celebrations together yeah. fantastic rez thank you so much for joining us on the show and giving us a bit of an update i think that's everything okay, you're doing there sounds amazing and um, we'll have to catch it very soon brilliant anytime take care you take care bye-bye